I like when that's you talk about. Re- that's why I've never remarried. Because to remarry would be divorcing my kids. No. Okay. A man will leave his kids to a woman, not this guy. That's why you never remarried? And I never left her. Only once did I throw her out when she left. And left the kid. And she only came back, why? Because she was pregnant and her mom said, go back because, you know, he might accuse you of the, the, not being a father. Why? I didn't accuse her the first and second time. I waited and I waited. So I'm just wondering why is it that she's getting pregnant with all these fancy IUD shit, you know, tubes tied and all that, and paying for all the abortions for her sister and shit with my money. Is that true? Yeah. But I don't make it up. I don't lie. You know? And, so, so you're saying and, my, and when you're a kid, you don't see that. You know, that's like a natural being. No. I don't see no little... Look at My dad, her, her mother liked my dad. You respected yeah. him? He liked him. He, he liked the man that he was. He was trying. Way off to the... the when well, she married because he's dead. You know, drug My dad, he's seen them. He married her, you know, fucking, but he didn't go that route, you know, because, I mean, my mom. So your dad's seen a lot of women and he chose your mom, huh? I don't know if he had that choice or not, but that's how it happened. Why, she chose him? Like, you can't go hey, nowhere. Man, you know, <laughs> look, man, my mom's like that, like granny. And, well, you know, when you're in the jungle, you get kind of scrappy. Huh? But, yeah, and, and, and you know what? I chased that woman out of my house. My mother, because it, it mean, it's my house. I didn't ask for any help in it, and and if I had this from my dad telling me like it, like he did, I could be an idiot. You know, I married because I, I got responsibility, and I wasn't paying attention to it. But I had to drag her along. Who? For her. And we're okay. so married because she didn't say divorce. I wasn't going to divorce her. Uh uh-uh. uh. You made me marry. Oh yeah, well, I ain't quitting. I swear, he wasn't a guy's gun and shit. I wasn't quitting. I buy him baby a house and shit. And I guess she must, she must have thought, like, oh, wow, he's serious. He's going to marry this bride. No, but goddamn right, I'm going to keep it. Because you're out. You're done. And I gave you a chance. Hey, you know. Gonna, and the next morning, I go to home and, and first thing out of her mouth, you know, because he lent me to my uncle. She didn't hear a fucking word I said. Why didn't your dad come and ask me? He owes me money. I never swore that. So if I tell her that, she'll, she'll either deny it or not know it because, hey, he's stealing the money from her daughter, from my grandkids, but nobody else in the family's got that kind of it money. It feels like you were working for a family, but you were really alone. I it seems alone. like you were I, alone. I was alone. When I married her, I was alone. And it kind of seems, we're not going to get specifics, but it seems like... Let's say if, if that, that $33 million situation never happened, yeah. like if it, if it, the transaction was completed, oh, it, you might have, in a sense, started getting maybe your own network involved. Like mm-hmm. people, like actually maybe your nephews, people you could actually trust, no? No, I, I would. You were gonna I, go. I, I would do what I was asked. You were out? No, I would do what I was asked. That's it. But no one. I, I would like to leave it because I want to be with my kids. Okay. Oh, and were you going to venture into other businesses so you know you can oh, go legit? Yeah. I would hope so. Right. Oh, I mean, dude, I was in their grip the whole time. But and, you, and, and when I was doing the things that I thought was supposed to be done, like pull, pull the gun, get the money back, I got shoot off with. Oh. Uh, and when I called her, I got my wife and everybody else done against me. I didn't go see my kids born because if I did, I'd take them right there. That would have been the last one. Right there. He's mine, I'm out of here. Well, but, you weren't but, sure they were yours? No, he was mine. Well, I, no, I knew it when he was born. Or you were just moving really fast at no, that time? It, when he was born, I knew it. And right. I, she knew I didn't want to be married. So, you know, kind of tripped him. But all of a sudden, she gets pregnant like four years later. What the fuck happened? And it's, you know, tired. Oh, two, three times. Five years later, you know, what, sit not? <laughs> Come on. Cut it. Burn it, fry it, and give it to you. Put it on your gun. You know, because I want to know. Because, dude. And God knows how many if she might have gotten pregnant. In between all that, and took care of herself. Because, like I said, I worked, gave her money, paid the bills. And when I caught her, 
I got your checks. I said, what the fuck? I'm giving you money to pay the bills. Where's the money for the check? I don't see it. I don't see you buying the lunch. Oh, yeah. You want some savings? You got the money out. And, you know. Huh? Yeah. Told my kids I'm fucking the neighbor. Why won't you tell your kids that daddy is fucking the neighbor? Did you used to say that out loud when you guys no, were... No, I wasn't there. You know, right? But... Were you, you the neighbor? Were you fucking the neighbor? I don't make plays with nobody around the neighborhood. No. Yeah, that's good. You don't no. yeah, get yourself in trouble that way. No, pass that to your sister. You really like that? No. I guess I'm like, no, but, but your uncle fucking my last time and shit. Right? Your favorite uncle. Oh, your kids, right? Oh, no. You would kill them, huh? I don't know why somebody did it before. Because he ended up with a white, with, uh, white chick, right? With, uh, I think, two girls. My left it all. He deserves to die, that fuck. Or get fucked. I'll tell you what, hey, I'll tell you what. Or molest My himself. Little, ba ba little baby's uncle, he's dead. For doing that shit? Something similar. He got rated R. <laughs> Something quick. similar. I mean, I he, he's raised children before, but this this one that hadn't, that was personal, was a woman. Yeah, it's the same he shit, dude. Not consensual sex, you know? Hey, that's why that little baby's bad. I, I didn't like him. I wanted him dead because he fucked up. He fucked up my mom and my dad. You know, intervened. So Who's? My brutal baby dad. Okay? He broke up my dad, my brother. You know, that's what we're living with because of him. So my mom fell for him. So, brutal baby was your stepdad? No, brutal baby. Your stepbrother? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? That same dad. So, so brutal baby. He's Varela. He's Varela. No, no, There's you two mean, voodoo babies. Okay, your voodoo. brother voodoo baby, he's, he's which is your half brother. He's the original voodoo baby, yeah. But the voodoo that's voodoo baby, that's that's just a friend. No, he's voodoo. He's a voodoo baby. Oh, his too. dad, his dad? No, no, he's a voodoo baby. But not his dad. No, not his dad. Okay, we'll call yeah. him voodoo baby that lives over there. No, he's, he's, one. he's one of the voodoo babies. Is voodoo baby cool? What do you mean, say yeah, his name? He's like, he's like. We he's can like, say his name here? No, I wouldn't. I, not without a consent, but I say it in front of everybody else. But unless, you know, it's like, like Facebook. Well, you don't really say his real name, though. No, but, okay, so, yeah, yeah. But, but that's your half-brother, though. Yeah, but but he's my brother. No, no, he, he's... You call it a half, but he's my brother. Like, when my dad got remarried, we were my sisters. Not the half. No, I know, I know, I agree with that, 100%, yeah. but... You know, because I'm just trying yeah, to... Yeah, limit, yeah, let's, let's, let the clear, voodoo yeah. baby at Area 51, this, we're not talking about him. Right, there's no voodoo baby there that I know. Right, right. We're okay. no, we're talking about um, my brother, your brother. Yeah. Because the way you said it, like, yeah, yeah, we'll his dad it. ruined it. But that's that's. He, well, that, yeah. He can't from your mom. So and that's it, your brother. it looks just like your dad on it. But the thing is, is that family. But he can't. No good. Who's? My uh, little baby's dad. Your half brother's dad's side. Yeah. Why? No. Because they're, they're no good. They're no good. I, I'm not, not all of them. So, so the ones, got, the ones do, you think, do, do you think your mom was going through something at that point in her life where she would choose a man like that? She, like, was, she was 19 or something when she told my dad. But was, she had what three was your kids. Dad, was your dad abusive or like abusive and stuff? I don't remember any of that. You don't remember? You I, think I, just, you I, I just remember. Do you think you block it up? Block it out or just don't, just don't really remember? Or it didn't, didn't happen. If, I, I if there's something you can't remember, it might have not happened. Black, I, I tell you, black time, but I, I'm not, I, I'm not sure. So you know, if, if I don't remember or recall, I can't say I black now. That'd be a but cop voodoo, voodoo baby's dad was a pretty bad guy. He's a dick. He's no good. He was mean to your mom. I, I didn't really see that, you know, but you no, know, if I had a be oh no, he, he'd already been dead. My mom couldn't stop me from that. Like if he hit but her or something? Tried. Like if he hit her or something? If he had, and I seen her or something, you know, my mom, cause my mom would fight, she fights her own shit. But she must have been around what, like my age when she got with Voodoo Baby's dad? Like around 30? Yeah, close to it, I guess. Or earlier Absolutely. or later? No, no, about that. In her 30s? Close to it. Close to, close to it. her 40s or like? No, 30. 30s? Oh, she held at 30 when she died. So, so Voodoo Baby's dad is like my age, like? No, my, he's only the I was. Voodoo Baby's dad? Yeah. No, no, when he got with your mom, he was around 30 as well, no? Or maybe... Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm just trying to get a perspective. Yeah, like they're, he, the same, they're, they're the same ages and shit. But see, when you're 30... Was he a house... Would he, would he go to work and come home? Yeah, he took driver. He tried taking us up to Mendoza. But he was a piece of shit and drink no. a lot or what? He went, he went to Mendoza to live up there. Okay. 
My mom hated it, man. I hated it. Because I had to fight the biggest fucking nobody they had there. And I only lived across the street from the school. Being a kid? And I could make it. I could make it. But they got there, man, and my mom was there to see it. And it was a do or die. And because I'm more scared of my mom than him. You made oh, yeah. it happen. That guy got his, he got his shit took on. And he's like Goliath. But again, so scared of my mom. And being the old, you know, show some respect. Because let this town know that, hey, you don't fuck with your family. Because my mom would have went in and kicked his ass and come out. How old were you at that time? Uh, Sounds like a little, like a teenage 11, a neighborhood. 10, 11. Right, like. This is in Mendola. You see the new kid, you want to fuck with him. Yeah, in Mendola, in the racist motherfucking town, with your wife running and the Mexicans are all poor. Even the foreman. Yeah, was that in the 60s? 70s? 60s. <laughs> Did you drink the coffee? 68, 67, around that area, around that time. Oh yeah, we're hearing the, the Odin just and, and, uh, ramble on. One of the Moody Baby's uncles was one of the original, what do you call it? Uh, the guys who did that. Hey, hey. The riots in the, in the I'm, gonna, I'm gonna post what Mike said this morning. Fuck you, I'll post Oh yeah, he's ran, ran. He's a guy in Orange County. <laughs> he, he, he's really wacko. Hey Mike, I'm gonna post that shit. Yeah. I was recording myself mostly, so they're just gonna hear what he was saying. But remember, he did a little like he did—he plays it out. Uh, He's a no, dude. I thought he was talking about me the whole time. Hey, hey, hey! If you're sitting in your truck, I thought he was like, "Motherfucker, I'm gonna pull you out of your truck one day." I was like, "Oh shit!" Like, I'm sitting in my truck right now, bro. Are you a cop? Look, didn't get turned around. Go global. What the hell? Don't know what you need it for. To locate somebody, and I need it. I need to locate some people. My brother. You need to locate some people? Yeah, I need, I need to know if my brother, he's alive here in Chino. And I would like to know where my brother's in, in San Diego. Because I've looked twice for them, and each time he's turning up dead. Okay, so I don't want to jinx I'll be looking for Tony or Lane. Uh, the guy that I grew up with, and you know, like me, you know, struggling and, and you know, hanging there. Up here, all my buddies got, they got their job and shit with that. No, so, because so, 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 you look like another, a chubby dude when I'm close yeah, up. So, some of you or another, my, the friends I went to high school with don't, you know, call me. Hey, the hell looks good on you, man. And I saved their lives. I started their business. I never touched their women. No, so, they, so when you pick a friend, fine. Well, they don't talk to you? Well, I haven't heard from them in years. I haven't invited over. When my... Mother died, no one came by and said, hey. Or when my daughter got died, no one came by and said, hey. But when my, my father's daughter died, I went, but I didn't go in church. Okay? When my father in law died, nobody called me. I don't even know if my kid went to my father's funeral. I'd hate to ask that question. You didn't go to your father's funeral? I don't know. You didn't go? Oh, you were, you were in prison. Oh, I forgot. And, and, dude. With my mom there, let me tell you what, it, it stirred up. It, was, it wasn't the quiet funeral. The old and the old funeral are never quiet. Never, ever quiet. Okay? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, like, look. Hey, if, you're, if look, your ex-wife Sancho was there, would you suck him? I laughed at him. Fucking some Polak motherfucker. Uh -huh. Even she was embarrassed of him because I took my son for, uh, because yeah, laugh yeah, now, yeah, cry later, it kind of, um, it kind of, um, also and, goes for the people that yeah. laugh at you. And I'm thinking, this is, <laughs> cry this, this is what you did better? This motherfucker touching my kid, dude. That's it, man. You know, but. Like, cause yeah, as humans, I, as humans, I, I, sometimes I, I, we're so I, mad I, or we I, think I, crazy, like, you know? Well, you react crazy. Fucking but, anger. But if, 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 it fucking take, if you take time to be a little bit, you'll realize, you know what? Right. There's not enough bullets or enough anger in me to kill them all. But it's like, like when, when you can hit a punching bag knowing that it's not going to hurt nobody. But if like somebody like well, did, did that to your family members, if you hurt that's them, free game. If you hurt them. But then you got to still do time probably. You. Okay. But if you kill them, then you don't have to worry about them anymore. But because he's a piece of shit, but you know, there's a chance for the cops to get two birds with one stone. You kill them, that's murder. And, and then they get you, and and they, but then they get the bad guy. That guy's an asshole, but... You got rid of them for You it. do, yeah, you do their job. Exactly. And then you get prosecuted for being Jesus. Exactly. <laughs> it's like when my son's uh, 
Why did I kill him? They had every goddamn cop out there in, I don't know how many counties, because they were afraid of race life. Okay? I'm smelling the fucking joint. I'm talking about, you know what? Take your time. Take your time. Really? Because you're going to think, hey, hey. And then all of a sudden you're going to think nothing because nothing's happening. Hey, 10 years, 20 years, you know? And do it yourself, or if you don't do it yourself, tell, hey, tell them this for me. I'm back. Because the guy who does that, he may keep his mouth shut, he may not. But you know, the more, you tell one person, that's it. You got, you know, I mean, you're clumsy enough to make mistakes on your own, but when you have people around, and think about it, it ain't worth it. Put it down. The less people that know the better. Just the foot. And you may think you're a mean guy, but, you know, you're the only one guy at the end of the day. When it happens to you, yeah, and don't, hey, don't be afraid to not run away, but back off. Because uh, to run away, it makes you feel so fucking ugly inside. Because you never really know. So we just got 10 guys. You're never really going to know, you know how bad you come out of it. But, you know, what? who likes to get hit? I don't. Some guys just talk to him. Is that all you got? I'm in, huh? Are you paying for this fight? Ow. <laughs> like that slap shit? I'm down for an exhibition. You no, know, that slap shit? Oh, dude. On the slap boxing? Oh, man. I'm talking brutal and shit. He's like, <laughs> hey, you get this little wimpy dude. You. Bro, but you, you're, oh. not even, you're not even allowed to dodge it. Oh. In slap boxing, you're not even allowed to dodge. Uh, no, you can't blink. You can't blink. Stupid. Look at that. It should be called brain damage. Slap hurts more Except than the brain damage. Well, if they hit you right, that's why they don't cut your ear and shit. I don't know what that conversation was about, but it was whatever's on Odin's mind. It comes, it's an intermittent joke during uh, what do you call it, uh, a lecture. Hmm? Peace, so, yo. Yeah, uh, what's his name? First of all, I like to see my dog. No, you like to see I, your daughter? I have to go see all my kids. Where are they at? I don't know. I think we're Dino. You always, talk, you always talk about my your youngest, kids. my youngest, James Dean. You always talk about your kids, though. So, you know, I can't show them off. Uh, if people, if, like, like, if people could just, like, accept, like, has to do a new beginning. Let me accept this person from who they, you know, I meet them there today. There is no new beginning. Because people have too many yeah, expectations. Because you haven't finished what you started. Well, people have too many expectations. It's like, he mistreated me yesterday, so I'm always going to stick on that thought. Or, what? Like, if, if, if I brought your kid with you right now, it, it might be like a brick, like, stuck in their throat. Like, they can't just be like, oh, I love I, you, Dad. I forgive you. Well, it'd be hard, yeah, because the last word my kids, you want to kill me. And I'm thinking... Yeah, he's in a different... That was and way I'm thinking, you know years what? ago. Though. I'm going to have to kill you because... Ah, oh, that's your son. That was... Exactly. But you got to. Because you just can't have some... I'm the oldest. You can't fuck with me. And I'm your father. I never touch mine. You're older, you mean? No, I'm the eldest. Well, you're yeah. the elder, yeah. Uh, uh, no, the eldest, meaning my brothers. You know, well, you, you are the oldest, huh? You can't, you, can't, you, you can't let them fuck with you. Yeah. you know, they won't respect me. And your kids... Fuck, yell at you and fucking touch you? No one wasn't thought of as a kid when I was growing up. But he was actually probably just mixed with a lot of anger. I don't give a fuck. That's not his excuse. Uh, you gotta be more... Uh... No. There is no fucking inch. There so, is no so... giving. Because you're not dad. You broke down. If, if you seen him after like 10 years, that will be the first thing you mentioned? I'm not gonna mention nothing. But you sound bitter. I sound bitter because there was no one there to speak up for me. And the two people that I've never tried that. Want to sit on your own? That said a good word? Right? That's all I said a good word. Because you know, that's all I mean, just a word. Because they weren't adding to it. You know? And only, not, only they know what really went on when I wasn't there. Since high school. Like I said, I was a high school kid, but I've kept my promise. I, I, get, I made no lies. Hey, but like... And, and, and the only thing I was looking for is for my kids to be okay. 
and they're trying to see my kids. Yeah, and, and my daughter spoke spoke up for me once. He come was in the car, he, her, and her mother. And I'm listening to my classical. And all of a sudden, smart, uh, large buffalo mouth goes, when you start listening to that, I don't know. My daughter said, Mom, go listen to that in the house. He didn't say another word. And believe me, you know, see how my daughter now, because my daughter get back at it. You make me, you make me, um. That's my daughter. Have perspective. But let me speak, let me speak. Yeah, please. Because uh, maybe people watching this don't know, but that you end up getting in trouble with the law at a point in your life. Middle, like I'm not saying middle age. I like to say middle age is 50. Because if you say oh middle age is 30, that means you think you want to die like at 60. Look, I got, so I, just got hassle, I got, I got hassled. No, no. Younger, I didn't get in trouble with the law until I, I did that shit, and I had that coming. No, no, right, right. yeah, yeah, because you know what you were doing. So, well, I thought of it, but yeah. Anyway. No, um, and I still get back in more harass now. But when I tell him who is this name? Well, no, but that, that's like swatting a fly. That's how they, now they treat you like swatting a fly. Yeah. It's, no, when they're having a bad day, then they're going to do that shit to you. That's that's what I mean. Like, yeah, well, the, no, but. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Around here, they, they, they come because they're called on. Right? Because they start off like nasty or whatever, but. But no, I kind of kind of see how you feel. You feel. I don't want to use the word betrayed. You feel like your your yeah, your, your kids your, like like I'm sure there's a point in your life. I got you, points, no, there's points in your life when you were lonely and stuff. You were like, why are my kids choosing a side? Because they, they, because yeah. I mean, like what you went through and how it altered your life. We had no choice. My yeah, kids, right. My my kids had no choice because I pulled specifically my name back and had the kids. It sounds and, like you're mad for them being mad for no. you sacrificing for them. No, no. No. Because you made a sacrifice no. for your freedom for your family. But at that age, you just see it as, you know, I don't know what they heard, but, hey. How old were you, how old were they when you went got locked up? My back? son was about 11, maybe, 10, 11. Like 10 yeah, that's a small age, my son, but where you, youngest, where you understand. My youngest, 30, yeah. 32, if that. But yet, the wife took him. Your youngest was your boy or girl? Took him to prison to visit her grandpa. Right? You never took him to visit but you were. She never took him to visit me. She never came to, only twice to see what was happening, and she, she never took him to my to my dad. Right after you, right after you, did you um, did she move on quick to somebody else? Right after you, they were already there when I hadn't got sentence yet. The men. Well, I don't know about the men, but there were people there that you know they never came to my house when I was there. Oh, I guess you okay. Yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. Uh -huh. um, the guy sold the house. Yeah, I, I feel, I feel like it was all their click. I'm the outsider. I feel like, I mean, I think your kids they could be a little more compassionate and they should be more understanding. They can't because they're hard asses. They, they're, 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 so, but but uh, my son, I raised him to be hanger. Okay, I mean because I wasn't gonna be there. He was all I was gonna have. And then, that and then my daughter, same thing, hard. So, so because, your relationship with your boy for ten years, because you went in from between ten and eleven. Yeah. You guys had something like you guys had a good bond. He loved you at that time, where he like my dad's mean. Uh, like, did was, you beat the shit out of him? Were you abusive? No, dad? I, I was hard on. Him. I, I, I hate I, using those words, I, beat the I, shit, I but that's just how we talk. Heavy. Yeah. But yeah, I cut that boy. Were you like mean though? People said I was. Not like, like, they, he, they should have took the kid away from he, you. But see, I didn't tell these people that why I married her or what I, my intentions were to leave her. Because, dude, how can you stand up? I didn't love her. Not enough to marry her. So, so, he, so you think her. your kids are, are really upset about you leaving her? I didn't leave her. She left me. I got arrested. She, she was throwing my shit out of the house while the boss is side man coming. Okay? I mean, God damn, the fuck, you're in the business as a baby. Your dad ever do that? Your mom ever do that to your dad? You know, and she's kind of how many men or whatever that kind of shit is. And all of a sudden, because I got the job that he had, because he wasn't having any shit. <laughs> I mean. Well, I never thought about how he would feel about that. Well, dude, I think I felt about when, you know, like. You know, hey, so, but I were, protected that motherfucker. Were you supposed to take that job? I fed that whole fucking family. <laughs> were you supposed to take that job? 
No, I wasn't even supposed to get that job. His nephew had it, but he got fucking strung out or some shit. Right? They had nobody else dependable, because, you know, because prior to that, the other ones got snitched on, and see, they, 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 they were dropping, killed. I'm, they, they, they came to me, right? And, uh, to learn, to everything they showed me, I didn't know how it was done. It didn't look right. You know, and damn sure enough, it isn't. I go to prison, I don't, I learn from prison movies. But I know this, when somebody says a rat joint and shit, it's like, uh-oh, that I've never heard of, so. What is it, what is it? But when somebody, I didn't know about North and South and that shit. I'm out there on my own, I'm done. And then, bad blood when we got married with the family, Bad and worse now. But I, my, my, my thing my, is, when they shot my he son, was only, you were like 18, 19 when he got married, huh? I just turned uh, 19. See, that's very young, man. 19. That's what I'm, maybe uh, you guys watching this could learn, like. The guy who shot my son was my daughter's baby's father. So your son, right? your 11-year-old so, so gets so shot, huh? I get the phone call, Dad, James been shot. And I hang up and I'm running, and I'm thinking, where the hell am I going? So I get to court and I go, and there's a line of people there. And I'm thinking, you know what? I supported half the fucking people. Not a one came over as a parent. You know, it's, you know, whatever. And miraculously, or maybe because the guy's a bad shot, and guess who took him over there? Their uncle. Okay? Took him, and, took the shooter and, and, over and, and, there and to shoot your nephew? From my your guy, son, I mean. The, the father of my, of my granddaughter is a dick. I've never met him. The father of your granddaughter. Yeah, he's an asshole, man. Oh, so your daughter, your daughter, your daughter's husband? Or boyfriend, not, boyfriend. The, the, my daughter's yeah, daughter. You got the me father, tangled up for a The father thing. of the baby. Yeah. My granddaughter. But where do they come into play? Well, he's the reason they got my, my grandson, you know, my son got shot because he had to party something this way. But when I get there, no one comes, right? No one tells me that it was my son-in-law, whatever the fuck he is. Right, right, right. right. That did that? Because that's my son. Also, you, you your, your daughter's boyfriend shot your son? Well, <laughs> he got hit. I, or two, I, I don't know. But I see my son come out, and he comes over to me, a hug. It wasn't two minutes that he went back to, no, to, to them. And at that moment, man, I knew it was coming, it's been coming. Uh, as my mom would say, lo vas a pagar cuando tienes los tuyos. You will pay when you have yours. And that was right there. Okay, so he got a, I got arrested when he was 32. So we never really had a relationship. And when I did try to get one going, he's uh, fucking, what do you call it, uh, 12 years old or something, you know, like rebelling, big boy. You know? And I'll get a rock or whatever to take him out and say, hey. That's your boy, man. But when I seen him later on, <laughs> Oh, he, he hooked up with this white chick. And he got hooked up young. And apparently, you know, she didn't know. Didn't work out, I was gonna say, as a, as a good wife should. But she gave me a good little, my, my granddaughter, I call her my hillbilly, because everything she says and does is all with the, the full excitement and shit. Whereas my other granddaughter, really, you know, like, calm her down, the more serious side, but I love all of them. But my so your grandkids maybe my, might my be son, around middle age, like ten right now, right? Ten, eleven. I uh, know. Maybe. Yeah, well, anyways, you're a cool but grandpa I, I, with a lot of stories. Oh, I go visit them at the. <laughs> People need to forgive each other, man. And let me do so. We decided to build it a wiki wall. No nail, no hair, no nothing. Just the five of those bamboo, twist twine. You know, I got the kid going here and there. Now we got to sleep in it. Well, I guess that was the last one. And I got the rock. I'm Which sleeping, is the, like the I'm funnest part. On the, I'm sleeping on the biggest ass rock. Well, I didn't see that. The rock in the middle of the tent. We might go it. But the grandma keeps coming on and calling you know, and making a wah, 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 wah. I'm you know what? I come. I'm, I'm, I'm paying anything to you. 
you know, I want to see the kid. But my granddaughter's making me coffee and shit, and I guess that fish probably came out of it, whatever. And then, my daughter set the law down. Nobody, nobody, leave these two alone for nothing. For nothing. Because uh, that lady was not, it was like old times, just like, like this, and, uh, It's no reason for OJ to do what he did. <laughs> but I mean, how much is a man supposed to take? Yeah, like as a father not being there was I would say that by choice. No, no, I know, I get that, I understand that. Okay. But that's good that you say that you, you're very defensive when it comes to that. But uh um, if you are you cheating. No, goddamn man. No, I'm saying did you ever worry about your your kids being too exposed to like things that you're not teaching them, but that the world is when you're not they there. Don't know what, they don't know shit because you're but, teaching but they're them. older now. Well, they'll, they'll reflect back. Like, do you think your daughter ever had bad relationships with men? Like, who the hell would, have it? Uh, well, there's there's a level of healthiness yeah, there, compared there, to other. There are things that, that that everybody goes through. Okay? <laughs> but the difference is the way you handle it. Oh, yes, some women, it. some women, if they were mistreated by their father like that, they tend to cling on to that type of relationship more, which is totally unhealthy. I went to high school with this That's guy. That's just to kill you, man. The that, most that, obnoxious little fucker I that know. That would kill me. Okay? That's what kind of... Uh, and he's hooking up with the Barbie dog chick. I mean, drop dead gorgeous Barbie dog. Drop dead gorgeous. Her dad. He's dying for you. Her dad, I swear, I thought was his dad. That's how I like they were. Okay? I mean... Uh, and Twitter, so. You're going, you're going. Oh, five more, five more. Anyway, uh, yeah, uh, look, stay in school, get a card. Uh, stay in school, but we'll talk to you tomorrow. You just be close. Never tell them I'll be there. You just tell them I'm on my way. Right, because you already made the because decision. Because no matter how old they are, when you're a parent, man, they're your kids. The mama's baby, but they're your kids. And no, well, those you, are your kids? you gotta go to work and buy the she goes by diaper, but yeah, so her baby is my kids. What do you think about broke men having babies? Oh, uh, what, what? <laughs> men who ain't got shit going on having babies. It's not their fault they're stupid. <laughs> you know he's stupid. You know, I mean, think about it. Think about all the time a woman's called. Is that window uh, down? Is that your father? You're just fucking ass. He's no good. Mama, how good was he when you met him? He's so fucking no good now. I mean, why would you get a guy that's no good? Obviously, he was good at some point, so let's just talk about, you know. Well, but that's and, the thing. and then when they look at you, she, you go see on her, dates, everybody. You see go her on blood, dates. You see your face twitch because who you look at her father? What? Now you remember, now you're getting cut in the head because, you know, she got painted by your daddy. Ooh. Didn't have the courage to sneak out in the daylight. Yeah, because then a kid will start being like, Mom, if my dad's no good, am I no good? Uh, it's a fucked up way. But but those women are just or, hurt, too. They don't know better either, you, you know? Can. You can't blame them. If you're not your kid, believe me, your hair's a little skull of butt in the background. I want to interview your wife, man. Oh, hell no. And your kids. Hell no. But you're welcome to it if they allow it. Okay. But you're going to go in there on the, on the ticket. You're a writer, and you're writing my shit. How did I come up with it? Hey, uh, somebody, somebody had me mentioned and my editor asked me to go in. That's it. Because they're used to having that kind of shit in their lives. I gotta go run 10 miles right now. Oh, yeah. On one foot. There they go. There they go. Uh, am I, yeah. Can I upload this? Hey, uh, Whatever. Just yeah, this is very cathartic for me. Uh, it's documented because I've lost everything else. But hey, 10,000 years from now, they'll pop up the name over and go, which one? There's, you know, There's only one, baby. That's right. The Odin. The Odin. The rest are just my brothers and kids, man. T-H-E-E-O-D-E-N. The Odin. That's right. There we go. But Peace. And be kind to people, man. <laughs> we'll be here if you all want to kick it. And as my mom would say, la vas a pagar. Bring a girl. Uh, we could talk for days. Bring two. Oh, yeah, bring two. Yeah. Oh, two ladies. <laughs> Took you so late. You don't have to be ladies. No, just, just female. Be madams. Hey, two legs. <laughs> I'm just kidding, yo. But, uh, Peace. Take care. I keep getting, I keep getting ready to go. Look at the team. They're doing it. They're, so you gotta impress these people, man. Yeah. They can't just come in and just do the right job. I think they're actually 
Probably picking up whatever's over there. Uh, They're not running over the trees, I don't think. No, but look at, look at that fire over there.